Welcome. Hi everyone. I would also like to welcome you to our Toolpack webinar. Toolpack is a diagnostic tool which allows you to identify discrepancies between general ledger and subledgers. It consists of tool sets and each tool set allows to reconcile different control accounts. Currently, you can reconcile payable clearing account net changes between purchase order and general ledger using PO tool set. Shipment clearing account net changes between order entry and general ledger using OE tool set. Accounts receivable control account net changes between accounts receivable and general ledger using AR tool set. Accounts payable control account net changes between accounts payable and general ledger using AP tool set. And inventory control account net changes between inventory control and general ledger using IC tool set. You can subscribe to each tool set separately. Toolpack is an external application and it is launched from start menu as a Stronix tool pack. Alternatively, you can create a shortcut on the desktop and launch it from your desktop. Let me start today's demo with a purchase order tool set. All tool pack tool sets consist of several tools. PO tool set consists of the following tools. PO receipt status. This is an inquiry tool with a corresponding report which allows you to identify receipts for which you haven't received invoices yet. This is a unique tool that does not work across modules. Uh, it compares purchase order receipts with purchase order invoices. So you can select here various range, for example, by vendor, by receipt, by period, and you can run the reconciliation tool. Now the application shows you the receipt and the corresponding invoice. Receipt with the corresponding invoice. If you want to see only the receipts which are not completed, that are not fully invoiced yet, you can just remove this tick and you will see that, for example, in this database, there are only two such receipts. One does not have any invoices received at all and the other one is partially received. That's why the color is blue, because it, uh, the invoice amount is not matching with the receipt amount. Uh, you can also print a report for this. The report just prints what you see on the screen. Next tool is pure return status tool. Now this one matches purchase order returns with purchase order credit notes. Uh, you can see the return and the corresponding credit note. Now this return does not have any credit note. That's why it will also be shown when I select to show only incomplete returns. Next, Payables Clearing Account Net Changes tool. This tool allows you to easily identify whether we have any period where there is a mismatch between general ledger and purchase order. I can select here the range of periods for which I want to work and the range of account sets. The application will identify my control accounts in this account set and it will give me the balances as per purchase order and accounts payable, the balance as per GL and the difference between them if any. Again, I can choose to see only the ones which have a mismatch. Now next tool I have is Payables Clearing Account Reconciliation. If there is a mismatch in any period, this tool allows us to identify transactions that are causing the mismatch. It should be noted that Toolpack is not fixing the mismatch automatically. This should be done by the users manually. Now you can launch this tool either from here or if you are on the Payables Clearing Account Net Changes tool, you can just double click on any line here and the tool will be launched automatically. So let's launch and see why we have the mismatch. Okay, I can see here that there are two transactions in subledgers which do not have a match in general ledger. And the um, down part shows me that there are this many transactions in general ledger which don't have a match in subledger. I know that, if, for example, 
this transaction is a match with this transaction, I can just highlight both and reconcile the marked transactions together. Now, the line that disappeared from the bottom part and it appeared as a match to the subledger. But this is highlighted in blue. Why? Because even though I have said that it's a match, still there is a variance. If I click on it, you can see that there is a $5 variance in this transaction. And the variance should have been zero if it was a real match. And uh, the final tool is PO and AP invoice reconciliation. Now this tool allows you to quickly identify whether there is a mismatch between PO invoices and AP invoices. When I run this tool, you can see that there are these invoices in purchase orders and in accounts payable there is only one invoice. Again, once more, why is this like this? Uh, Toolpack will not tell you. It just tells you that this is the mismatch. For this invoice in purchase order, there is no match in accounts payable. And for this invoice in accounts payable, there is no match in purchase order. What is the reason you identify yourself? And you fix the problem yourself also. Now, OE toolset is very similar to the one with PO. It has the OE shipment status, which allows you to identify the shipments which are not complete. And it has the shipment clearing account reconciliation tool, which allows you to identify mismatch between GL and OE for the shipment clearing account. And it has OE and AR invoice reconciliation tool. Now let me show you accounts receivable toolset. This toolset has only two tools. Receivables control account net changes and receivable control account reconciliation. Similar to the ones in PO. Now receivable control account net changes shows you on a high level what is the amount posted in accounts receivable to this account and what is the amount posted in general ledger to this account. And you can see that for this period there is a mismatch. Now if I want I can group it by the year and I can see that okay there is an issue in 2020 and there is an issue in 2010. I can just double click again on the line. It will take me to the next tool and I can see what is the reason for difference. Again, there is one transaction in accounts receivable for which there is no match in general ledger and there are four transactions in general ledger for which there is no match in accounts receivable. So I can investigate the issue and if I find, for example, that this transaction should have been matched with this one but it is not matched because of the variance. So most likely somebody played with the rates. I can just either select it and say reconcile my transactions or I can just drag and drop. And again the color will indicate whether it's reconciled, not reconciled or reconciled partially meaning that the amounts are not matching with each other. AP reconciliation tool is very similar to AR reconciliation toolset. Again, it has two tools in it. Payables control account reconciliation toolset allows you to identify the transactions which don't have match in general ledger or they don't have match in accounts payable. For example, again, the bottom part shows transactions in general ledger which are not reconciled and the top part shows the transaction in accounts payable which don't have the matching general ledger transaction. And the final tool set I would like to show you today is IC reconciliation. Now this one has three tools location detail verification. This one is kind of like an integrity check. It allows you to identify if the sum of IC evaluation table is equal to IC outlook table.
So I have two lines which are not there. This has to be corrected. And also it has other tools, similar to the tools available in other tool sets, which display uh, net changes, allowing to identify for which account, which period, there is a mismatch. And reconciliation tool, allowing to identify which transaction is causing this mismatch. As with every reconciliation tool, on the top we have transactions from subledgers with matching GL transactions. And in the bottom we have transactions in general ledger which don't have a match with subledger. And you can create groups. While creating groups, you can have many-to-many uh, -many relationships. For example, you can have uh, two or three transactions here matched with many transactions from the bottom. Mm, this is a group, and the total of group is displayed here. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you today about Toolpack. Thank you for attending our webinar.